Окей. Okay. Здравейте на всички. Казвам се Благой Овчаров от фирма Catpoint и ще открия днес къшния онлайн семинар за, с, с тема специализиран тунелен софтуер от фирма Atlitop. Atlitop. А, това са наши партньори, с които а, така, харесани техния софтуер за тунелен, тунелно проектиране и тунелна работа. И те ще представят така, няколко от техните решения за тунелен софтуер. Първоначално искам да ви кажа за платформата, в която ще се проведе онлайн семинара. Това е GoToWebinar, като вие можете да задавате въпроси в секцията Questions в дясно. И на въпросите ще отговорим в края на, на нашия семинар, онлайн семинар. А, също така, а, този а, онлайн семинар ще бъде записан, така че а, на по-късно време вие също можете да гледате и да а, видите а, това какво е представено. А, сега да представя останалите участници в а, нашия онлайн семинар. А, ще Прехвърля след малко а, така, презентацията на Давид Винсент. А, той е така, главния менеджер, главният директор, който се занимава с а, а, представянето на програмата по света. Аплитоп е испанска компания, която е много добре представена в Испания и в испаноговорящия свят, в Латинска Америка и така нататък, но също така е доста добре представена и в а, а, различни други държави и а, започнахме и партньорство с тях за така, нашите български клиенти и това е един специализиран семинар, който ще бъде представен от а, Аплитоп, само че ще бъде представен на английски язик. Ако има някакъв проблем, аз ще превеждам на края на въпросите, така че нали, да бъде, а, въпросите могат да бъдат задавани на български, аз ще ги преведа на, а, на английски на тях и после обратно ще върна на български. А, следващия а, човек, който ще бъде посветен в презентацията, това е Давид Варгас, който е техническо, така, основния технически представител по отношение на тунелното проектиране. И те двамата с Давид Минсен ще представят TCP Tunnel и TCP Tunnel CAD. Това е първата част на, на представянето. Това е когато имаме тотална станция и се замерват тунелите чрез тотална станция. И също така прехвърляме от тотална станция към CAD среда. А най-накрая Франциско Наверет, който е главният менеджер на, на Аплитоп, който също така е дългогодишен специалист в а, а, фирмата, той ще представи TCP Scansir. Това е за работа с а, облаци от точки, с а, а, така, как могат да бъдат извлечени в кат среда и да бъдат обработени облаците от точки, за да бъдат представени по възможно най-добрия начин. След като бъде записан нашия вебинар, можете да го, ще бъде споделен в нашия блог infrastructure.catpoints.com. Също така можете да отидете на, на нашия блог и в момента. Там има вече качени а, така, кратки информации за трите продукта TCP Tunnel, TCP Tunnel CAT и TCP а, а, Transkir. Така че вие можете да видите така малка информация за тях. Ето ги и по-отделно от TCP Tunnel. Това е така, софтуер, който се инсталира върху тотална станция и вътре в среда на тоталната станция се работи. Поддържат се доста инструменти, които могат да, бъдат, които могат да използват програмата. TCP Tunnel CAD е върху AutoCAD или BricsCAD се инсталира и има възможност данните, които са замерени, да бъдат, да бъдат прехвърлени към кат среда и разбира се да бъдат изчертани в моделното или в хартияното пространство. Доста така удобна програма за работа. И последния софтуер, това е втората част, която ще засегнем. Това са облаците от точки, 
могат да бъдат извлечени от различни, отново ротиращи геодезични инструменти, които правят облаци от точки и съответно да се обработват тези облаци от точки и да се извлича информация от тях. Ще започнем с презентацията и ще прехвърля презентацията на Давид Винсент. Давид, it is you. I will change your... You will be the presenter now. Okay? Yes. Hello. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for your time and your interest on our project. Um, today, before to start to show you some uh, our software for Tunnel, I make you a small introduction about AppliTap and who we are. Uh, AppliTap uh, is a company about uh, we are a developers company making application for surveying and civil engineering since uh, 1987. Appitop was constituted uh, uh, in 2003, and uh, um, we have a great expansion uh, worldwide with more than uh, 15,000 uh, active uh, user licenses in 70 countries were, uh, in the world. And our distributor, official distributor in Bulgaria is uh, CADPOINT. Why is this success? It's because we provide a license, a permanent license uh, at competitive price, uh, which uh, allow uh, a, a quick uh, amortization. Uh, our software also are really famous uh, because it's already easy to use uh, from uh, our uh, final clients. Uh, uh, we get uh, the feedback that they are really think, think about the, the users and how to find the commands really quickly and really easily. You will see after by the demonstration. And uh, the other great point that uh, our clients told us uh, is uh, the technical support that uh, is really fast uh, replying and giving uh, always the best and adapted uh, uh, answer. Well, of course, we offer like uh, all the companies in software training and uh, 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 online training and if you need uh, presencial and we have a lot of documentation into our web page if you have a look you can find a lot of technical uh, data about all our software uh, some point about quality when you have the maintenance fee you can get a, sati a satisfaction survey which allowed uh, to get update uh, we, our software, you have to think that uh, they are always evolu uh, in evolution and we do uh, many updates during the world, which one are free when you have the maintenance fee. And also we have the, uh, some certification about our quality. Let's talk about uh, our network. Uh, our software are developed with uh, all the principal uh, uh, known uh, um, Known like a Microsoft, Android, S3, Intel, or, or um, Apple. Uh, our software are CAD cross platform with all the latest uh, version of uh, BreezeCAD and AutoCAD and ZWCAD. You can work with our software. We have some agreements, and this is a small extract of the principal uh, uh, devices uh, manufacturer, uh, which one they give us the latest uh, innovation in their device in order to, to reduce the adaptability of our software. So this is some of uh, the main brand in the market, but we have more, more company, uh, which one we are working with. Uh, this is some partners uh, about university, about uh, uh, development uh, we are doing, uh, small precision. We are also in the committee of the building smart in the definition of uh, the norm for the road in the EFC format. And uh, in another software, we have already implemented uh, the EFC uh, alignment and format into our software for, for the for the drawing road. 
to do a road. Some of our application, I have put, uh, we have more family of product, but this is uh, the main range of our product. Uh, TCP MDT, which one is the most famous software in Applitop, uh, which one we can, you can uh, make digital terrain model, draw road and all these kind of uh, things, uh, including uh, some points, uh, clue management. Uh, we have uh, some software for um, uh, stake out and uh, uh, to, to survey and stake out uh, points with TCP uh, for total station, ET and GPS. The software of tunnels that I'm going to, uh, we are going to show you in following and some uh, software for digital photogrammetry about uh, drone and uh, with TCP UAV and TCP stereo, uh, which one are allowed to draw in in 3D, uh, in 3D. Uh, some of our reference uh, in Spain, we are working with all the big uh, constructive companies. But I believe, and I have, oh, I'll make a mistake, so sorry. But uh, this one, I think, is the most important for you today. And all the software, we, uh, all the place where you can see a stars is where we have implant and we have a great case story or success story uh, with our software tunnel. For example, the underground of Riyadh in, in uh, Arabia Saudi uh, is done with uh, total station Sokia with our uh, software of TCP tunnel. The underground of uh, Ottawa, the extension of the underground of Ottawa is done also with our software for tunnel. And also the underground of New York uh, in United States is done also with our software. It's our software which are being which are used uh, for the underground in these countries and in this place. Uh, some of our current research uh, area, uh, our uh, line of investigation, uh, virtual reality, augment uh, reality. Uh, UAV is uh, uh, where we are really focused at this moment, and uh, BIM uh, for infrastructure. And this is the world of uh, uh, Applitop, uh, the software that we are uh, used to, <coughs> to, the software that we are used uh, to promote uh, and that uh, are developed in our company. Okay, so now let's start uh, by the things uh, that you are interested in and why you have registered yourself in uh, this webinar. It's about our software for tunnels. So this uh, will be in two parts. One part uh, about the solutions for total station uh, with TCP tunnel and tunnel CAD, uh, how to create a project and uh, after uh, when we have took the real point of uh, the tunnel uh, how to make data processing with uh, with this and the other software uh, which is tcp tunnel uh, is a software which uh, allowed to implement an interface into a total station for uh, for to, to stake out point automatically with a total station and this we will will be done by me and by David Vargas. And the second part will be done by my general manager, Francisco Navarrete, about TCP scan here and solution for 3D scanner. So TCP tunnel, TCP tunnel. Uh, this is the two software that I was telling to you, TCP tunnel to work in the office and TCP tunnel, the software to be implemented into the total station. Uh, TCP tunnel is uh, working, uh, need uh, a, a classic uh, computer and uh, works well with Windows 7 up to 10 in 32 or 30, uh, 64 bits. Uh, works also with the latest version of AutoCAD or BRISCAD uh, or BRISCAD. Now uh, I'm going to let, uh, I'm going to uh, let you see the screen of my colleague, uh, David Vargas. 
David, 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 are you going to explain? Ah, hello. Do you hear me? Okay, so sorry, I cut my it it has cut my 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 microphone. So I repeat myself. Uh, TCP tunnel is uh, as you can see before. Can you cancel? As you can see, it appears like a menu uh, in the in the menu in the AutoCAD. Okay. Uh, in Briscard will be the same. The first step is to create a project. So in order to win time, in this case, we have already created uh, horizontal and vertical alignment and some templates uh, in uh, the format land uh, XML. But uh, just wait a minute, David. Uh, but uh, uh, you can do it easily with the AutoCAD or the Briscard software, you can uh, easily uh, create your uh, horizontal and vertical alignment and create your project. So when you have, uh, so the first step is you create a project with the name of uh, the author and the name of the project, because sometimes could be different author in your project. And now you, uh, you attach your alignment, horizontal alignment. Okay, you can uh, do so. If you import your horizontal alignment, you can choose land XML alignment, okay? And here it appears, okay? David, could you please uh, open the cross window to show all the details of this alignment in your left? Okay, so here you can find all the definition of all the point of your uh, horizontal alignment. Uh, this is your uh, horizontal alignment for your tunnel. Second step is the vertical alignment. Okay, firstly, you have to put a name and since you can manage the vertical alignment, so you can import it from Lambic XML, XML, and here the same. You can find all the definition about it and you can do it with your CAD or you can import it if you have already do it with another one, okay? So this is um, both uh, horizontal and vertical alignment. Since we have to say uh, all this uh, alignment where they could be, where they, they will be uh, front of the template. So we put template and we put a normal tunnel template and now we have to define the template of the tunnels. So this is the second step. So the same is here. We have already prepared uh, uh, an example, uh, really simple in order to win time. Uh, is done in a DWG format, and you can see two templates. If you have more templates in your software, in your tunnel, you can manage all the templates you want, okay? So this is two templates, uh, edit templates tunnel, exactly, the function. As you can see, all the functions are really simple to find. It's not because we know it. I believe in one day you are already productive with our software. So we create the first template, this is will be the first template <clears throat> and we we put it uh, front uh, where it is uh, placed into the template we have to define the position or you can define where you want it's not a problem you have to understand also in 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 mostly of our software 
uh, app, uh, of uh, AppLitup, all is uh, uh, you can manage everything, like uh, you can manage uh, all the details. So we have created one template, and now we are manage the second one with a, a, a different uh, radio. Could be a, a different form, could be as uh, what you want. Uh, is uh, here a simple uh, example in order to understand the philosophy of, uh, of uh, this software. Okay, so now we have the two templates created and the next step will be um, uh, to make an assignation of uh, uh, the assignment of uh, this template from which point to which point we will have one template and from which point to uh, other point we will have the second template. So uh, based on the PK, uh, kilometric point, we define the templates and like this, uh, they will be drawn. Uh, uh, we, we they will be drawn uh, in line of the alignment we have defined before. So this is the two templates in this, for this case, a simple project. Okay, and now we can draw it. We use all the points, all the things that we have uh, defined uh, from which point, kilo, uh, point uh, PK to which one and we can now draw the tunnel. Uh, there is also a possibility, so you can see below down drawing uh, the, the, the velocity depending on the computer, the software is really, really quick. And if you want to view and to see it in 3D, it's also possible with this software. You can manage this like that. So this is uh, the theoretical tunnel uh, of what you have think uh, about it. This is the theoretical uh, uh, tunnel. So when you have uh, get to this part, the things which is interesting is to go to where is the tunnel and to the real point in order to make comparison, okay? So now we are start with another software called TCP Tunnel. Okay, so, uh, so maybe we can show you a video about uh, TCP Tunnel. So TCP tunnel is really simple uh, software that you can connect uh, with a Windows mobile device uh, to your uh, computer, to your total station, okay? Uh, can you put the video, David and Francisco? Okay. So it's really simple to implement. Uh, you go, you you use, uh, uh, you you create a file. Uh, it will appear a window into your total station with TCP tunnel, and in this uh, interface, you have a project, and you create a, 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 a you create a project of points. Uh, this is. Uh, uh, where the real point uh, will be took, all the uh, we, where all the point will be took, okay, and automatically the total station will took all the real points that you have defined in your uh, templates and uh, in your uh, in your templates. So this is a new files, or you have to copy the project into the total station but it's really easy to copy and paste and he and like this uh, the total station took the real point automatically this is a, a second video so there is a different issue that is really important uh, when you go to the tunnel, you have to firstly uh, 
look uh, make the position of the total station into the software uh, into the tunnel okay so uh, by the i don't know the word in english inverse uh, uh, there is different uh, possibility but by the inverse <coughs> um, by the coordination inverse okay this is right uh, you put the location of uh, of uh, with existing point and known point. You put the location and the you put uh, where is base your total station into the into the tunnel, and after automatically uh, the total station will took the real point of each uh, profile uh, automatically. So you took a, a, a point known and automatically you, as you can see, it identify uh, the point and after automatically it took all the real points and they will, uh, and the total station will copy all the real point in the files that we have created in two TCP tunnel. Uh, this, So when you have two, two points, when you have two, two points, uh, when you have two, two points, uh, the total station uh, find uh, the result of the B section and know where it is uh, based into the tunnel. And now um, with the third points. And now you you took all the real points. Well, this is just two or three minutes of video. Uh, after the webinar, we, you can find all this video in our channels on YouTube. And uh, and uh, if you need some uh, precision, uh, we can send you this video and you can uh, we can send you some uh, files and uh, uh, manuals about uh, this. So this is uh, the other software TCP tunnel. OK. So when you have uh, took your real point, you can come back to the office. Uh, and now uh, you can uh, proceed to the to the data processing uh, to the data process. So you insert the point, the real point took into your project in order to check uh, to check the point. So you open the project and now we can make we can make the calculation of the cross section so from uh, which part to which part uh, you can manage uh, normally uh, uh, people which are using our software they con they make the control of point every every six uh, 50 meters uh, 70 meters maybe more and they come back and they make uh, the, the calculation uh, uh, and they compare the real pro profile to the theoretical profile. So analyzing points and as you can see, now we can draw it uh, grow, uh, since we have made the calculation, uh, we can draw it in order to have a visual checking uh, with the software. So we define from which scale. Also, you can uh, put it in one paper. You can define the paper. You can define uh, everything uh, in, in, inside. In this case, we are going to draw it directly to the to the CAD. But you can do it in a format, a, a special format. And you can also put your name as the author, uh, the project. You can define different things. Uh, you can define uh, different things. OK? So here you will, will appear uh, all the profiles, all the cross section. 
depending of the number of the cross section and uh, of uh, the calculation uh, it uh, it cost uh, more or less time and here as you can see you can find from the template which one and all the definition of the overcut or the undercut of the project and how it has been uh, crossed and the resume of the uh, area superficy uh, the station the total station all the details there is many functions of tcp tunnel CAD about the data processing you can clean some parts you can make some quick uh, things but we are gonna show you the basic function in order to you understand so now this is the area report about uh, overcut and uh, uh, undercut uh, uh, undercut uh, the same here so you have all the details of uh, of this and if you want you can export it to the word excel different format as you want And now we are going to check the volume report. Same procedure, all the commands really easy to find and the same things, the undercut, the overcut, the exceed area, the other many details uh, that we are really useful and same. You can print in different format as uh, what you want. Uh, David, can you show also the, um, uh, the details below? I just I wanted to precise that you can define the authors, uh, all the paper, you can configure it and you can keep it in your computer. Once you have done it, you don't need to create another uh, another time. You can just copy and paste uh, uh, all these things, okay, in order to win time. And uh, now we have done the comparison of the uh we can make a comparison of profile or uh, we can also uh, okay we can uh, compare the, the cross section okay so we put the files that we have took and the, the, we have create So here in this case, we have put the name of CAD point because it's our distributor in, in, in Bulgaria, okay? So we put from which point to which point we would like to get the volume report and the same. You can draw it and you can print it. Uh, you can choose the format of the drawing and the scale, everything. And here you have, uh, you have already your, uh, your comparison of profile, cross-section profile. It's quite, it's uh, really quick and really useful. And here you have it. All the details, all the details about it. And uh, also, uh, um, what we are thinking in AppliTap is always to think about uh, not the, not our clients, but the clients of our clients. So we have developed in mainly all our software the possibility to get the tunnel in uh, to get in 3D what we are drawing. For example, in MDT, the draw the, the road, and in TCP Tunnel CAD, the tunnel we can draw it in 3D. So is what we are managing right now. So TCP tunnel. Okay, so here you have. Sorry. Okay, so. Okay, you have to tell it to choose which one. So this is another project. It's uh, done. It's a, a tunnel project of uh, underground in uh, in uh, Madrid with uh, Leica Total Station. So in this case, as you can see, uh, this project is uh, with uh, more details, with more templates and with more points took than uh, we have done. As you can see here, uh, is, uh, is a real project, okay? So now we can make the, the 3D tunnel traveling. 
you can have a look inside. So it's really useful when you have to show to your clients uh, how is your tunnel project, uh, uh, your mine, uh, if you, you're uh, underground, so you can show a 3D, so this is better for your as a hand in client that sometimes they don't understand uh, or they don't appreciate uh, as well uh, a, a 3D video than a, a, a simple drawing. So this is uh, mainly uh, the basic function and uh, the principal function of uh, TCP tunnel and TCP tunnel CAD. Okay. Uh, now we thank you, David, for for, for this uh, for the manner, for this introduction and this demonstration. And now I'm gonna let uh, we are I'm gonna let hand uh, to to Francisco Navarrete, which one we is gonna introduce you the the software uh, uh, TCP scan seed, which one uh, works with uh, um, 3D 3D uh, scanning, scanning uh, files or LIDAR or this kind of uh, uh, this kind of files. Hello, uh, I'm Francisco Navarrete. Good morning. <clears throat> I'm going to show you our software for processing uh, tunnel data and getting cross section from, from laser scanner. Uh, this is this software is useful when, when you have instead of uh, hundreds or thousands points, you have millions of points uh, uh, captured by laser scanner. Now we are going to define a, a project. Uh, you can see that this is a, a standalone application. You don't need CAD. You don't. You need CAD only for uh, drawing the the Excel files. But this is a standalone application. Now we are going. To, uh, this is a blank project, uh, and we are going to import the alignment. You can import uh, uh, from a number of uh, standard file formats. In this case, we are going to import. Uh, a LAN XML file. Then uh, it, it, it finds a, a, an horizontal and vertical alignment. You, you choose and uh, confirm which alignment. And <clears throat> this is the analytical information. We can select the horizontal alignment. This is, you can see the, the alignment with uh, straight lines, circles, and, and spirals. And this is the vertical alignment. You know, we can change the vertical scale factor. Uh, and now we are going to import the, the point clouds. Uh, in this case, we are going to, to choose uh, a cyclone uh, PTS format. And we are going to import the, uh, the point cloud. Uh, this uh, this point cloud is from a, a tunnel in the north of Spain, in the city of San Sebastián. Uh, it has it was gathered by a Lake Scan Station C10, and uh, the point cloud has about uh, 12 million points, and uh, the length of the tunnel is about uh, 400 meters. Uh, we have seen that there, there are other uh, point cloud formats supported. For instance, uh, we can import FARO FLS files, uh, Leica PTS, PTX, and even uh, XCF, XCF files. So that you don't need uh, Infinity software if you are using uh, Leica Multi Station, uh, uh, MS50 or MS60. And of course, we can import also generic formats. For instance, we can import uh, files, uh, text files with uh, X, Y, and Z coordinates. We can import LIDAR LAS files. We can import also uh, point clouds in, in E57 format. Uh, so there is a wide variety of, of formats supported. Uh, uh, point cloud data can have uh, only coordinates or uh, intensity or and color. Uh, 
and red, blue, and green color. Yeah, the software can, in, can import and can represent the, the, the point cloud uh, with these attributes. Uh, the point importation is, is going to finish. Uh, it has two, uh, two steps, one for uh, importing the, the cloud and one for analyzing points uh, against the, the vertical and the horizontal and vertical alignment. So that every point uh, will be uh, related with the alignment. It's going to, to finish and, and then we will enter in, in, the, in the dialogue and we'll see the result point has been imported and you can see that we have about 12 million points more, uh, about uh, 400 meters more or less there, there are eight scan sessions we can see uh, every session in, in this way or we can see the whole uh, point cloud. And now uh, this is the uh, represent point cloud represented without color because this, uh, this point cloud has not color but we can represent this uh, using intensity so that uh, you can see now the gray levels uh, corresponding to intensity of every point. Uh, we have a number of tools for uh, viewing the cross section in top view, front view, and right view. And the most interesting is that you can switch between orthogonal or perspective mode. So you, you can fly through the tunnel and see the, the point cloud. You can uh, also change the, the size of, the, of every point so that uh, you can get more realistic sensation or you can restore to minimum uh, so, so that every point is a pixel. Now, uh, let's uh, go back to the orthogonal mode and uh, we are going to uh, speak about filters we can show manual filter so that if we can we can uh, remove some points based on uh, for instance the changes or the for instance we can filter graphically we can we, we could delete all these points because they are not enough density or uh, we can change radius or we, we can see also this in, in 2D or 3D. You can see that it is a cylinder and we can change also the, the angle so that is, uh, we could delete or, or restore or apply some, some filter about this. Uh, of course, uh, well, we are going now to, to, to get cross section, to calculate cross sections from the point cloud. It's very simple. We, we have to create a, a cross section file, and um, we, uh, we we must give the parameters: the initial station, final station. We are going to uh, to get one cross section every meter, and the bandwidth uh, is about uh, half meter uh, left and half meter. Uh, to the right of the of the cross section, and in this case, I'm going to uh, apply a manual center in order to to calculate better the, the cross sections. You will see that this uh, very quick process, and in a matter of seconds, we can get the cross sections calculated from the the point cloud. It's done, and we can see in this way. Uh, also, we can increase the uh, the size of the points, and uh, we can delete uh, some points. We can clean the, the point cloud. For instance, we can remove points belonging to the, the pipes. For instance, in this way, we can select points by polyline. If we delete this, then in the the cross section is recalculated, so this that is clean. Uh, for instance, we can we can do this not only uh, for every 
cross section, but for instance, if we we can uh, we can see this in 3D, for instance, instead of uh, giving one meter, we can uh, see, for instance, five meters, and uh, we can remove uh, all points in in, uh, in in ten meters, five meters to every side, and in this way, we can remove uh, all uh, points that are really are noise that are not belonging to the tunnel. And in this case, this is a, a total station, or we, we can also remove this. So that uh, with manual filters or these filters, you can quickly remove uh, and clean the, the point cloud. In this case, we are going to open a, a different uh, project that, uh, in which uh, point cloud uh, it has been uh, filtered. You can see if we enable points, uh, you can see that the well, we can see this in, in this way. Let me hide the, uh, the template, and uh, you, you can see here that, in fact, the, the cloud, the point cloud has been filtered. You, you see in, in magenta color that uh, filtered point, point that has already been filtered, and the, uh, the cross section has been calculated. Uh, without these points. Of course, you can uh, hide this layer so that the, you can see now the final, the clean uh, point cloud and the cross sections. So this is the point cloud, and in the same way, you can see the, uh, you can see, uh, the cross sections. Now we are going to define a theoretical template and compare the, this template uh, with uh, calculated cross sections. This way, well, uh, this is we are going to uh, to delete uh, this and so that you can see how we have defined it. Uh, uh, now we, we don't have uh, any template, and we are going to define a new one. So then you you assign a, a template. You can. Uh, as in, in TCP tunnel, you can have several templates and we can give uh, the parameters. In this case, we are going to give the bench height, that is the distance between the bench and the, the tunnel origin. And we can import a DXF file with the, the template. This is the template, it's simply a polyline, a closed polyline. And now, we have to uh, copy this, uh, select the origin, origin point, and simply paste the, the, temp, the polyline. This is our template, and we can even <coughs> import control points. So uh, it will be useful for uh, computing the real alignment. We save the template. And now we can compare the Miasure cross section with the uh, project cross sections. <clears throat> Let me uh, change one thing. <clears throat> and uh, now cross section, we can compare uh, cross sections with the templates. So in this way, you can see we can, uh, in this way, we, we can see, let's hide the, the points. <clears throat> we can see uh, easily the difference between a uh, theoretical template and the measure template. You can see the uh, red and green areas corresponding to the excavation, over excavation and under excavation. You can see the, the dimensions. Uh, and everything. So that's easy, you can uh, see that. Uh, of course, 
uh, we can export this information to, uh, to drawing. In this case, we are going to export to DXF. You can customize all the parameters. In this case, we are going to export uh, all of these. And uh, we can select which information, uh, select the paper, paper size, scale. Uh, in this case, let me uh, create the, the, pro, uh, the Excel file with cross-section drawing. It's very quick. And now we are going to open the, the DXF file. Uh, AutoCAD is open, so we are going to uh, open the drawing. Let's change the, the folder. And the Excel format. Extend. You can see uh, all the, the the cross sections with all the information that we have uh, checked. Uh, we have enabled in the uh, in the dialog. Of course, all this uh, uh, drawn in different layers. Uh, of course, we can also get this information in. Uh, is a report format, so we, we run uh, tools and we can select report type only terrain, templates, or, or ground. And in this case, we're going even to separate the top heading and bench, so that uh, we get uh, not only the total result but the uh, the bench and the uh, and the top heading reports. You can see this is the total volume. You have all the excavation area, the missing in areas in, out, and the same for volumes. And this is the same information for top heading and the bench. Of course, you can export all of these to text, Excel, or HTML. Uh, another report is a, is a alignment deviation report. That is, uh, that is uh, for computing. So, sorry, this is not a uh, deviation report based on control points. Uh, it's going to compute the real alignment uh, based on the control points uh, so that uh, we will get a, a report, a numerical report, giving the uh, horizontal and vertical differences uh, regarding uh, between the, the theoretical alignment and the real alignment computed from uh, basic on control points. You, you saw that uh, when we defined the, the theoretical template, we imported a control point file. Uh, it had, uh, I, Thing, uh, five control points, and now is comparing in every cross section where it, where are the control points and uh, compare it uh, with the theoretical uh, template. And now uh, you will see a numerical report giving the the horizontal and vertical difference, and also you, you can see the real alignment drawn. Uh, uh, over the uh, in, in top view, so that you can see uh, where the alignment is. It's going to finish. <clears throat> and, and we'll see uh, other results. <clears throat> Next step, we will show you the, the inspection map and finally the the virtual tour uh, uh, flying through the, the tunnel. Uh, 
is finishing. This is not a very very powerful computer. In fact, it's a notebook. It's going to finish. That's all you can see. The station. Uh, this is the uh, position of the of the alignment and the horizontal difference regarding the theoretical uh, alignment. In fact, if we we can view uh, this, we we can see the uh, Xi'an. The Xi'an polyline is the uh, the theoretical. And you can see some differences between the theoretical and the real alignment. Okay, so let's go to uh, to get the inspection map uh, that is going to create an image uh, with colors, uh, different colors range depending on the difference between theoretical template and the uh, and the measured cross section. In this case, we are going to to give a a uh, range of uh, station or change and we are going to select uh, for positive values uh, red and uh, for negative values uh, blue color and we give uh, a map and then going to conclude this is very quick and you can see easily that uh, there are, uh, is a, a representation showing the uh, the difference between theoretical uh, and project the, the theoretical and measured cross sections. You can see easily this what, what happens. And finally, to uh, I'm going to show you the a route uh, flying through the tunnel. Is simply uh, we can select which layers uh, we can, we want to see and uh, create a, a sort of virtual tour so that uh, we can show uh, the, the layers that, that we, we want uh, and even create a video or sort of animation. We can see uh, easily how our tunnel is and uh, um, give, uh, give to our customer. For instance, you can export this to, to video and uh, uh, easily give to the to your customer and see what, what is going on with, with your project. And, and that's all by my, my part. Uh, uh, maybe or black can can you maybe can you can convert you in the center? Okay, thank you Francisco and uh, David.